Okay, so welcome back, uh, we just ended that episode, no, no that episode, yeah, that episode, or that part, um, and <clears throat> my favourite character is already dead, <laughs> um, but here we are in the actual game, I guess, ooh, what's this, blood. Blood. <laughs> Fresh. I like how, like, unsurprised he is. A dead pig. Burning. I like how we found that out from a dead pig, and we just didn't see that anyway. Okay, I can walk faster with shift. Is there anything to see here? No. Cart. That's father's car. Oh god, his parents are dead. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Who the hell are these? Oh, it's the Bolton. <laughs> Oh no. Should I be doing this? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Well, Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. The man like this. Ah, I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now why don't I believe you? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get. Off. My. Land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. He's just so dead. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Fuck. You. Kill him. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Oh no. Oh, finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. They're gonna get away with this. They are a pig farmer, aren't you? That will have the most range and it'll work probably best. Stop! <laughs> this is funny. Dutch! <laughs> How pathetic these guys are. Whoopie Jackal! Pick up the sword! Oh god. Kill. Eat. 
mercy. Please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. <sighs> Did I not select one? Thank you. I should have killed him, actually. Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Why don't we just like kill his horse or something and kill him? Father? Garrett! You survived. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. That's depressing. I tried to stop them. And he's dead. Everyone's died. I'll kill the men who did this. You just kind of let them go. Oh yeah, Iron Ruff. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Oh yeah, we have an uncle. In a later episode, I bet you this place is going to get Garrett. hacked and burned. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two Whitehill soldiers? And a Bolton. Whitehill? They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. Oh god, that's even more depressing. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Maester. God, this Maester's young. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh god, we're gonna have to interact, aren't we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack our Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Oh, God. Right. Uh... This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. That's not how it happened. I want to be true. Roderick for. had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. 
I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. <laughs> you can just walk normally. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Right, so he's still got a bit of a limp. The large chair. Let's look at the window. <laughs> Such an interesting window. The Ironwood Grove. I love these accents so much. The Ironwood Grove. <laughs> that was interesting. So, the only items we have are the swords. Well, the faster sword. It won't let me look at it. Do I need to be in the next same position? There we go. <laughs> this is why I love um, this and the Walking Dead game because there's just so many like, there's just so much stuff like that which you wouldn't really think would matter, but I don't know. It's just those little things like that. Immersion. That's something. Mirror. Okay, so this was the guy who died. That was his son. It's this guy. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Oh God. Um, I'd imagine this is the guy who would. Talia and Ethan. Lead. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Yeah, that's right. Ryan. Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Never easy being the fourth-born son. Until he's going to be like a Rickon character. Okay, these are definitely like the sons of Stark and Thingy, Tully. Lady Forrester. <laughs> She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Okay, that's the opposite of <laughs> Thingy. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Oh. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Let's just uh, look at these for a second. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. So now we kind of know what the characters mm. are going to be like. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Look at healing curves. This might help. <laughs> like we just steal the stuff. <laughs> he doesn't even say anything that time. He's stealing all the maester stuff. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. <laughs> Let's click the back out. Um, let's show my sword. Not in the thought. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. I feel like Lord Ethan's gonna die. So we have bandages, healing no. herbs, you and You see there? Sword. You're limping again. I'm fine, really. I'm not even walking. Let's just talk to him. If we can, can we talk? Or do we have to explore more? Oh, there we go. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Okay, so we just need to explore some more. What can we look at? I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. God, they're going Welcome to be home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Well, her family kind of died. 
so sorry. Nato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there star. anything he said? Any last words before he passed? Um, if you can remember. Give her the he asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. He demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. Uh, it was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Well, he wasn't that smart. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, <laughs> as any man would. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending them to the war. No, the war? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so yeah. vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. You get to meet Jon Snow. At least. That settles it, that settles it then. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord White Hills' heart if given the chance. I would. 
And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. Um, His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester's, Lord Forrester's last words were, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. Did For he? good reason. Really remember. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. I did tell no one. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. I'm pretty sure I did tell no one. From this I'm day forward, remember. this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. And then die. <laughs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Such a depressing start to the game. Garrett, wait! Take it. Be safe. She like a little sister, or like a love one. Can't really tell. Well, not like little sister, but like theoretical little sister. Like Jon Snow and Arya Stark. Or Arya Stark. And I think I'll end it there. Yes, I'll end it there. Thank you for watching, Ethan? and we'll be right back. We'll see Ethan, too. <laughs>